Good morning, Modern Status. This morning we're going to go measure the pigs so we can determine how much they weigh. This could be a little interesting. They like to rub all up against you. They don't like to stand still. We're probably going to get muddy. Hopefully we don't get knocked over. To keep them a little bit occupied, we're going to put some fresh grain in their feeder. Let's get to it and see what happens. It's been raining out, so it's pretty muddy out. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. We wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. That's such a huge accomplishment. We did a live video the other day explaining how you can get in on the three different giveaways we're doing. I'm gonna put a link to that video right here. If you want, go over and watch that, and then we can get entered in to win the three incubators. I don't know about you, but hatching out chickens pretty fun. If you guys ever wanted to get into hatching your own chickens, but you never bought an incubator, now's your time. Good morning, girls. Whoa. Whoa. Yep, they're trying to trip me up already. Can I leave the camera alone? All right, while they're occupied, put some fresh feed, we need to take a measurement of the girth. So Mrs. Pig's is 38, and then we gotta measure from the back of the ears to the tail. And she is 40. So she's 38 by 40. Spots. Ugh. Come over here, Spots. Come here, Spots. Mrs. Pigs was 38 by 40. Let's get Spots. Come over here, Spots. Come on. Come here. I don't want to chase you. Length on spot. We'll do the length first. Length is 42. She don't like her belly touched. And her girth. Her girth is 40. So we got 38 by 40, correct? Thirty-eight by forty and forty by forty-two. Let's go in the house now and figure out how much they weigh. But they are enjoying their food. My guess is, is the pigs weigh around 150 and 175 pounds. Now comes the easy part. We get to calculate and figure out how much our pigs weigh. It's pretty simple and easy. Look at my cheat sheet where it's written down. So we know Mrs. Pigs was 38 inches girth and she was 40 inches long. And then spots was 40 for her girth and 42 for her length. I'm going to use a calculator for this next part. I'm not trying to do math on YouTube. It won't turn out good. Now we're going to take the girth measurement and multiply it by itself. So Mrs. Pigs, it's 38 times 38 equals... 1,444. Now we gotta take the girth measurement results and times that by
by the length of the pig. So we've got 1,444 times 40 equals, let's go, 1,444. That gives us 57,760. Now we want to take that number and divide it by 400. So Mrs. Pig's weighs at 144 pounds, 0.4. So my guess the other day was pretty close. Mrs. Pigs weighs 144 pounds. That's pretty good. Let's see how much Spot weighs. So we're going to do 40 times 40 equals 1,600. We're going to times that by 42, which equals 67,200. And we'll divide that by 400. That equals 168 pounds. So Spot weighs 168 pounds. Nice. Let's try and do some more math. We know that the pigs are going to be getting harvested in 50 days. And a pig gains one and a half to two pounds of weight per day. So if they weigh 144 pounds and we have 50 days so we bring them to market. So let's go 50 times 1.5 equals 75 plus 144 equals. That'll put Mrs. Pigs between 219 pounds to 240 pounds by the time the harvesting class comes. That's, I can, I'd be happy with that. And spots, she's 168. So 50 times 1.5 equals 75. So, so spots, she's 168 pounds plus 75 equals 243 to 265 pounds. So I'd be interested to find out how much the pigs weighed. I don't know how accurate we're going to be because I'm not going to have a big old fancy scale. But Mrs. Pig should be around 220 to 240 pounds when we harvest her this October. And spots will be around 240 to 265 pounds. It'll be interesting to see how close we are. I thought it was only fair tonight to share with you. Tonight I'm making modern stutter chicken marsala, and I'm making the Martin Stetter chicken marsala with the barred rocks that I butchered in the video the other day. I'll put a link to that video right here. Let's get them cut up and cooked up. Talk about farm to table. These are raised right here in our pasture. We butchered them right out back in the outdoor kitchen. And now we're cutting them up. I know, I'm going to get a hard time about the knife I'm using. It's what we have handy. But it is terrible. It's pretty dull. I'm going to need to sharpen my kitchen knife. Once we have the outdoor kitchen set up, and we got some stainless steel workbenches out there. That'd make a nice spot to sharpen all the knives. I wish you could smell. I wish you could smell this. That smells so good. Oh, yes. We just cut our chicken up into little pieces, fry it up in the frying pan, make sure it's all cooked. Then we'll put it in with the wine mixture, onions and mushrooms. Oh, that mixture smells so good. Tonight we're gonna have it over rice. Sometimes I make homemade egg noodles and have it over that. That is delicious. I don't know if you've ever had homemade egg noodles, but those are pretty easy to make and they're good. If you've never had homemade egg noodles, you really should try making some. They're delicious. I know we always talk about food over here on Lumna Acres and the Modern Stedders wants recipes. That's one of my plans with the website is we're going to have a page just for recipes. The website's up and running. 
but the recipe page isn't yet. But when it is, we'll make sure we get the modern Stetter chicken marsala on there. Once the chicken's all cooked, I just like to put it in the nice mixture. And let it simmer for a little while. That just gets more of the flavor embedded into the chicken and the chicken flavor embedded into the mixture. And oh, it just tastes so good. And then you just dump it right over your egg noodles or your white rice. Mmm, delicious. Let that simmer until dinner time. Wanted to show you a project we've been working on. We needed some curtain rods. So this is a birch tree. This is the pot I like the best. We were trying to figure out how to connect it to the window. This is another birch tree. We notched it out. We chamfered the edges. That's just beautiful. I really like the look of that. We got two of our windows that way. We need to put a center support here. This one kind of goes down a little bit, but I gotta get a longer drill bit so we can drill through the center one. My drill bit's not long enough to do that one. Then I was thinking of kind of doing the same thing with the logs for here. So when you pull back the curtain, you have a place for it to sit. The rest. Yeah. How's the chicken? Good. It's the rooster. Rooster is from the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I haven't had any yet. So if you stop crowing like a rooster, we know why. Uh oh, I don't want to eat it then. <laughs> you don't want to stop crowing like a rooster? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We used this method last year and it was very accurate. We brought our two pigs to the butcher. They weighed within five to 10 pounds of our tape measuring method weight as to what they said they weighed. I was pretty impressed with that. That's how I know it works. It'd be interesting to see if these pigs get up to the weight we're hoping they'll get to for October. With all of our calculations, they should. And they've been seeming to grow very nicely for us. So we should be in good shape for the hog harvesting class that's going to be going on here at the end of October. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. I wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. That made it possible. Thank you very much. And as a thank you, we're doing a giveaway. There's a live video that we just shot the other day. If you go and watch that video, that's going to tell you how to enter in and to have your chance of winning the three different items we're giving away. We hope you guys win one of them, and we can't wait to find out who the lucky winners are. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lone Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.